Hey guys, so today I'm going to share a recipe that I talked about in one of my last videos. I had hauled a couple of food little items and I talked about the recipe that I make using those items and I asked if you guys wanted to see that recipe and I've never seen so many yes please recipe in the comments in my life. So I am going to go ahead and share with you my version of corn dip. So let's go ahead and talk about what it is. So for starters, listen, do this at your own risk, okay? Because I am so addicted to this stuff and I make it about every weekend. So maybe I'm gonna fall off the bandwagon soon. I'm one of those people where if I love something, it's like a broken record and I repeat and I repeat kind of like a song that I like. And then once I get tired of it, I'm like, okay, bye, see you later. I do the same thing with like movies. I get into these like phases and I move on. But this has been, how long have I been making this corn dip? Probably like two months and I'm still like going strong, still love it. So the other thing that I want to mention is I don't know anything really about being a vegetarian or a vegan and if there's a difference. Um, but I think someone asked if this was vegetarian. There's no meat in this whatsoever. So my version of it, the answer is no, there's, there's no meat. Um, there's cheese, there's some sauces in it but no meat. However, that's the other amazing thing about this corn dip is you can literally add whatever you want and we'll get into all of that. So the next thing that I wanna talk about is I'm actually going to share with you my version of corn dip, but I will add the actual recipe of where I found it and I will link it in the description box below. It will give you all the measurements you need, all the things that this person used, but do some research on corn dip and find the one that you like the most because there are slight different variations of them. So for example, in the original recipe that I found, it calls for mayo and sour cream and I've ne never actually added sour cream to mine. So, and I probably will. I think I'm gonna be curious enough to go ahead and follow the true recipe and see what the taste difference is. So keep that in mind. I'm not actually going to share the exact measurements because I eyeball everything when I cook, at least the majority of the time I do. Um, I'm a fairly good cook. I mean, I am Italian, so I guess it's just in my blood to be like, perfect. But I just wanna let you know that I will link the original recipe. It will have all of the measurements there, but I'm gonna walk you through my version and I won't actually be calling out, oh, you need a you know, quarter teaspoon or whatever. So. I hope that you're ready. I don't know if I should say you're welcome or I'm sorry because it's so addicting. And also, um, I have noticed that there are a lot of comments to the recipes, like on, on blogs, um, I've seen them on Pinterest, on allrecipes.com. It is always a hit. I have never really seen a negative comment People will talk about how they make it for like Super Bowl parties or work parties, potlucks, and they bring it and it's all gone. And I'm like, yeah, it's all gone. It's crack cocaine. Of course it's all gone. For all I know, you'll make it and you'll be like, really? Really? Like, really? It's really not that great. It may not be. It, it will be up to your taste buds. So let's go ahead, get to cooking. It's the ones that I use for my recipe and the key component is going to be your corn and I get this fiesta corn because it has like it's seasoned with red and green peppers so it already comes with like a really good flavor and I'm actually going to be doubling up because you guys I can literally go through one whole thing of corn by myself in like 20 minutes. I also add Rotel. Now, Rotel, I don't think is called in the original recipe. I just decided to add this myself because in some of the recipes, they're adding like fresh tomatoes and green pepper, red bell pepper, all of those things, which you can absolutely do. But I just get some Rotel and I add it and I love it. So if you want more spice, then get the Rotel that's like hot or even original, um, but I am not really good with spicy food, so I do the mild. So because I'm doubling up, I do two of each, and then we're gonna use some salt and pepper. I'm gonna use some garlic powder. Um, there's more uh, spices in the original recipe below. Green onions, so I get organic green onions. Those are my favorite. 
and then I, you're gonna need some mild cheddar cheese or any shredded cheese that you like, and mayo. I'm also gonna use some butter just to put it in my pan, which is getting warm over here, and then whatever chips that you wanna use to dip your corn with. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter to my pan over here, but I'm also going to set my oven to bake at 350 because once the corn has been cooking and sauteing in the pan for like anywhere between eight to 10 minutes, then I'm gonna dump it into this glass pan and we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients and then it's gonna bake in the oven for like 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so now that the pan is nice and hot, I'm gonna take both corns and I have opened them and drained them. You really don't want this to have a lot of juice. And now I'm gonna add the rotel and I slightly drain them because the rotel does have like some spices and really good um, flavor in the juice. So I pretty much drained about 90% of it. It probably would have been fine with just one can of Rotel, but again, this is just, you know, alter it to whatever you like. And now we're going to add our salt and pepper. And again, this is just where I eyeball everything because I have doubled up. I'm gonna add some more. And I'm going to add my garlic powder. I probably should be precise, um, but I don't care. So while the corn is going, you want it to kind of sit there and combine with the seasoning and the flavors. I am going to chop up my fresh vegetables. So I'm gonna chop up green onion, it's my favorite. This is where you can add fresh tomatoes. You can add onions if you want to. You can add green, bell pepper, red bell pepper, orange, yellow, you know, whatever it is that you like. Um, so I'm gonna chop up my green onion. Once the corn and the rotel mixture has been on the stove for about five minutes or five to eight minutes, that's when you want to add any fresh vegetables that you've chopped up. So it's been about, you know, five to eight minutes in that range. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump my green onions in here and I'm gonna mix this in. And I'm gonna let that go for about another five minutes. We are going to add our mayo. So what I will say about mayo is I'm not like the biggest fan of mayo. I don't need it on everything that I eat. Um, so I will say that you really can't taste the mayo in this if you don't like it. I'm sure the same concept for sour cream, I'm sure combined with everything together based on the original recipe, it will taste fabulous. Um, but just letting you know in case you're not a mayo person and you think, well, what can I substitute? I really don't know what you could substitute. Um, maybe sour cream, if you like sour cream. You really want something that's going to bind all of these ingredients together, and it gives this like a really nice creamy mixture. But I will say that I don't really taste the mayo. So if you really mix it in really well, you won't be able to taste it. So I'm just gonna do about two big tablespoons of this. And then we're going to get our cheese. And you can put as much as you want as well. And now we are going to mix this all together. My daughter does not like corn. She's not really a corn person. But this right here, oh. She loves it. She raves about it. She tells all her friends about it. When they come over, they have it. So it's a hit. Now that's like really nice and mixed through. So what I want to do is I just want to add a little bit more cheese to the top. And now we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees. It's still extremely warm. And the beauty about this is that 
It is so good hot, so good warm, and even like a little bit cold too. So it's just so delicious. And then you would just simply take whatever chips that you want. You could actually just eat this straight up if you wanted to, but I do love taking the chip and scooping it up. I mean, how good does that look? Mmm. 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 You just don't know. You just don't know, but you're about to know. You're about to know when you make it. Please use caution. Use extreme caution when you make this because I'm not going to be responsible for, you know, any weight gain, any addiction issues with the corn dip. Look at it back there. Just taunting me, teasing me. And you know what just happened? You know what just happened? I went and got my daughter at school, picked up her friend too, her best friend, took them to go get a little lunch, came back, and she smelled the corn dip, and then they ate their lunch, and then I went to go take them back to her friend's house. And as we were leaving the door, my daughter goes, don't eat all the corn dip. Yeah, she's right, I probably would. So I was like, okay, I won't. Honestly, where have you been all my life? You know what I mean? Don't, don't worry about the five extra pounds I put on. I, after this, I'm gonna go for a job. So that is the corn dip recipe. I hope that you enjoy it. I can just see corn distributors this week and going, wow, there's like a spike in sales on corn. Yeah, hi, Chief Crafty Girl at your service. I hope that you enjoyed it. The recipe is so simple to do, takes no time at all. The ingredients are really not that expensive. Um, but again, I, this is your warning, just, I mean, if you get addicted, I don't know what to say, but you're welcome, I'm sorry, I really don't know. So don't forget that the original recipe is down below if you wanna follow the original, original recipe for your very first time, and then you can go from there and decide what you wanna take out, what you wanna add in, you know, whatever. That's the brilliant aspect of this recipe is that you can just add all kinds of different things to it. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that you guys wanted to see this recipe so much and I'm so glad that I got to share it with you. So have a good one and I hope that you find it delicious. Comment down below and let me know if you've tried it. Let me know what you think. And if you've made corn dip before and what your ingredients you use are, you know, a lot of people love to read the comments and it's so helpful for so many.